off grid and today we're going deep and hard into Miners Canyon which is right behind me. Miners Canyon is full of mine shafts, copper, maybe some gold. We've got azurite, we've got turquoise, we've got chrysocolla back there. There's all kinds of minerals and stuff. So today we're gonna do some spelunking. Yes we are. So join in. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're on the razor. We're going up crazy hardcore terrain. It's freaking rugged back here. There isn't anyone back here for miles. So we're prepared in case of an emergency to bug out if we have to, or spend the night in one of those shafts. So join in the fun and we'll see what we can find. This is our first challenge of the day. We are going to be going up this chute here. We want to find the origins of what's going on. We think there could be a mine shaft up there. And the reason we think this is because it seems that the chute brought the rock down. And then if you go down even farther, there's a huge metal, another metal chute. So it's going to be uh, fairly challenging because it's pretty much vertical. You ready to go up this thing, hun? Yep. Just need my gloves. Alright. Safety first. This is what it looks like. Okay. Oh, here's a nice piece of azurite right here. It's really loose right here. about going down but I'll just go down on my butt <sighs> holy moly 
Wow, look at all the green rock. This is really cool. It's like a freaking rainbow. Yeah, that's it. Wow, look at that. They definitely moved some material. Oh no, this is it. They freaking got out. I mean, you can see the green stops. There's no more green. I was kind of wondering maybe if there was some sort of trap here. That... They may have reclaimed it. Like right here. Yeah, and then they just fucking that wouldn't surprise it all me. Down on top of it. Yeah, they probably closed it up. Which is probably smart. Well, yeah, you can see the coppers. Well, it actually kind of looks like pyrite, but that's actually, that's a really cool piece. It's heavy. Wow, what a view. See, now if quartz crystals are to grow out of this, that's when you get your jimmy. Ooh, like this. Look at this one. Ooh, that's, that's looking like the beginning of jimminess. Whoa, like a creepy. Big plant and then rocks over this Something, someone died. Something or someone died. I mean, this doesn't, how old could this be? 50s? I don't know, things don't rot out here. Yeah, things don't go bad out here, so. It's just interesting. What's in the box? It's an empty box. Why it was buried, I don't know. It's kind of weird, the stuff you find in the mountains. Yeah, I don't think it's an old grave, but... What? I don't know. And this rock here. I'll show you. See, that's turquoise. And solid. It's pretty solid, and then look at all that azurite right there. Yeah. It's a big piece, though, and I don't want to really bust it open, but look, it comes all the way through the back, too. This could be a really nice piece in here. Whew, that's going to be steep. Not looking forward to going down, really. You found some rocks? Oh yeah. Well, soft is good. Is it green? Soft green rock could be turquoise. Oh yeah. Whew. Just kind of bashing on them a little bit. Oh yeah, that's very soft. Oh, he just crumbles apart. I mean, the whole center of that rock is just very soft. I'll be riding on my butt. I can guarantee you that. I'm not moving. As long as I don't go ass over tea kettle.
what? So this is the chute I was talking about on the lower part of the mountain here. So we have this big metal chute that aligns with the wooden chute above. So they're moving rock all the way up there, all the way into here. And then, I mean, this has to be the tailing chute because that's what would make sense. And here's our piling, piles of tailing. So this thing is massive. So you can kind of see it better at this angle. All the way up. It's pretty interesting. All right, guys, so we are about to enter the first mine shaft. We are doing some spelunking, as promised. <laughs> and officially, for the record, do not do this at home. We are trained professionals and know what we are doing. We do not recommend that anyone enter into any abandoned mine shaft at any point. There's lots of hazards. That being said, you can watch us enter into this abandoned mine shaft and uh, maybe we'll find something cool. We have no idea how deep it goes. We have no idea really about anything other than that. It's kind of spooky. So maybe we'll find a dead body in there. <laughs> maybe not. All right. All right, let's get this party started, folks. <laughs> yeah. This is like my size door. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this. Wow. This is a trip. Spiders. Spiders everywhere. You see a little bit? Oh, it is a little bit. He's cute. He's cute. What do you think these wires were for? Well, yeah, but I guess I, I thought this was the pre electric times. I guess not. Look at all the crickets. Someone living in here? <laughs> Definitely some bottles and cans. Okay, we've got, wow. A, there is water. Shall we go look back this way for a second? Oh yeah. Okay, we're going down A first, so, all right. Took a left at A, a left at Albuquerque. <coughs> yep, that's a support, right? Probably some crystal action in there or something. Oh yeah, there's some crystal stuff in there. Yeah, there's crystals. I think that's kind of maybe newer, huh? I'm feeling batty. I've got some so mini stalagmite action. I think stalagmite is when it comes down and stalactites when it goes up, right? Yeah, stalactites when it's from the top down. Oh, yeah. It holds tights, tight to the ceiling. tights down and mites up. What's this white stuff on the floor? Mold. Mold. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, there's baddies. Yeah. Okay, wow. And now it splits again. I love bats. They're so cute. Whoa, what is that? Looks like a body bag. This is a pretty, um, I kind of want to go into this ballroom real quick. I think this might end right here. Can I, I can't see 
in here. Oh my goodness, yeah, okay. Now, ballrooms, you gotta be very cautious about. There's a shaft, a vertical shaft. Starting to see some green rock. I just walked out into there. Whoa. Trip out. Another shaft. Whoa. Okay. This is a little more complex than I thought it would be. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's full of water. You can see slightly through it. Ew, yeah. Looks like a squirrel. No, that's rock underneath, but it's, wow. wonder how deep that goes. I think I slurred it on purpose. Wow. Oh, that's full of water, yeah. Oh, there's an old... Whoa. Wow. Check out that old freaking, so, the old ladder. Now what does that go around the corner or what? So they're trying to get up to you right here. Yeah. That vein. Huh. Wow. What do you think's around this corner? Wonder if it just so that's two thirty six. Any veins of interest? Bat. There's a bat. Fried bat for dinner. I love the way it smells. It smells dank and dark. One two nineteen fifty seven. <laughs> Joe. That's what that is. It's a big geode on the side of the freaking. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you're going for. Yeah, but they're so delicate. I just barely touch them. There. It's okay. Did you catch one? Oh. Whoop. Wow. Those are interesting. Yeah, if you wash the rest off, they might be. I don't think they're clear, though. No, they're not. A... I think they're white. I mean, could you imagine? Okay, see where all the rock scrapings are? There was tons of crystals in there before. Oh, yeah. And someone Probably scraped. Worth, worth getting. Yeah. And crystals. somebody scraped in there. Not too awful far. I can barely reach my hand up there. Yeah, exactly. The low-hanging fruit they got. I think it's just pretty-looking crystals. But there's definitely some water. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Not much, but not much. Hmm. Couldn't get a drink out of that if you tried. You can lick it. Huh? Lick it. Mm. You can see where people just ding, ding, ding. But look at there's crystals right there in this. Ding, Hold it for me. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, <come> here. Okay. <laughs> that broke.
Oh, it drop. Oh, my taser. <sighs> yeah. Oh, no. It looks like a puddle. Anything in that tote? <gasps> Don't slip. I know you love to get yourself wet when we go on adventures. That's just black sludge on the bottom. Yeah, no, I'm just seeing the flake stuff. It's kind of stinky. See, there's some go to Mundy poop. Slot players. Mm hmm. Wonder if that floating dead thing was a go to Mundy. Maybe. Well, that was pretty cool. We made it. Yeah. <sighs> wow. A little bit more of a system than I was expecting. Yeah. That was really cool. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over the finds from yesterday. I think there's a lot of promising minerals that might require some further exploration. The first is all this greens and blues here, which is a mixture of basically azurite, which is the dark blue, as seen here. Make that a little wet and you can really see how deep, deep blue it gets. Azurite has been used for thousands of years to make dyes, powders, paints, things like that. And it doesn't really, you can't really cab it. You can't really polish it. It just kind of is what it is. Basically, you just enjoy it in rough form. If it is exposed to sunlight, it will fade. So not great for jewelry, but it is beautiful to look at, especially when it's all nice and wet. But as you can see, plenty of pieces of azurite. This light green here is chrysocolla, which is uh, not turquoise. So chrysocolla is sold as turquoise, it's counterfeit. And that's why it's so important to know who you buy your turquoise from. Look at how beautiful that turns. However, I do believe that this could be some potential turquoise and I do think this could be cabbed right here. If you kind of took this chunk out, you could probably cab it because you can see it goes all the way to the back. So I suspect this is a decent, this is a decent vein of turquoise. And then we have this blue azurite that comes out. Let's just dunk the whole thing. Now you can really see the deep blue, beautiful blue azurite. And I really like this piece because the red ore really brings out the, the blue. It just pops. So some pretty cool pieces there. Definitely worth exploring more. We did find some gem action, however, very rough. So you can see like right here, some jimmy action. You can see it starting to form the helix. However, the host rock, it's just not going to make beautiful, pure, clear gemstone. But it's close. So had we kept digging, we may have found a cavity where the host rock was quartz, and then we'd have this beautiful green, what I believe to be epidote. 
almost Jimmy. So that would be interesting to see if we could find a quartz uh, host and see if it could actually make itself into a gemstone. So moving on, just some interesting specimens. Kind of cool. We did find this out at the sulfur mine, so we discovered a shaft that was to get sulfur because the rocks were sulfuric and stinky. And this was interesting because it's a piece of white, really crystally, shiny, sparkly, snow white quartz with a black vein running through it, which appears to maybe be malachite in this black vein. You can see some crystallizations. I think that one actually looks better dry. But you can see those little pops of something or another, so pretty interesting. Moving on. Uh, here's some pie, I think it's pyrite, almost a peacock pyrite. It looks peacock with the blue and the green background. I don't think it's quite peacock, but it's pretty darn close. And I mean, look at, that's just ore. This thing is heavy. This is copper ore. Lots of, lots of blue on there. You can really see that pyrite sparkle. Again, another piece of what I would consider peacock pyrite and be kind of cool to cut out of there. So lots of interesting finds. Um, it was a good day. I think to just spend time up there rock hounding all day would be awesome. And then we did find a piece of just quart, quartz druzy. The issue is that it's all encrusted with this concrete-like sand substance, and I soaked it overnight, and I wire-brushed it, and it, I'm still having a hard time getting it out. So, I don't know how much I'll tool around with it, but it would be kind of cool because this would all be encrusted with this druzy quartz and make a nice piece. And then... This I found actually not at the location we were at yesterday, but it's just got these really cool crystal crust, crystal crust. I just found that walking around the desert. So overall, I mean, this is like super rock hound fun right here. Probably nothing of major value unless if I was to cut that turquoise, what I suspect to be turquoise, but Definitely promising signs. Oh, and the final things I forgot to mention. This is what we got from the cave or the little caverns within the mine shaft. And they're, you know, just quartz points, nothing exciting, but I'm gonna have to tumble them to get all this, all this iron oxide out. And then I think they might be clear and they might even be smoky. However, nothing of great value there so yep if you like this kind of stuff there will be more of it let me know if you like it because i will be interested to get some feedback on whether or not i should make more rock hounding exploration videos uh, like share and subscribe maximum off grid signing out